Well, hello everyone. Thank you so much for dropping by and joining me on this exciting Christmas occasion. We have a full house with the whole star crew in the house. That's really nice. Mr. Brian, Joel, Mr. Chris, welcome. Mr. Rod, who's going in and out. That's totally fine. Jeremy, all the way from Studio 65. I like that. I've never actually heard of that before. Very cool. Very cool. And we also have, uh, I think that was it. That's anyone I can see in the chat for now. Anyone else who's watching, welcome, of course, to a little Christmas soiree of something that I haven't actually planned at all. I just thought uh, I didn't want to do cyberpunk today. I thought maybe I'll give cyberpunk a rest and inspired by our little premiere that we had going this morning on YouTube. Uh, Brian and Neville and Dream Lab and I, we've all been chatting this morning. And Pete, of course, thank you so much for the super chat donation. Very much appreciated if you're watching this this very soiree. And I thought uh, inspired by that, I'd, maybe I'll have another crack at that puffy shirt and uh, try to make it a bit faster but then also um, try to make the shorts, shorts and shirt, and then maybe make a modified version of that, just a smaller kind of, you know, practice session in uh, which you're more than well, more than welcome to follow along if the sugar coma doesn't doesn't have you by that by that point and uh, see if we can do this together. And then once the outfit is done, I'd like to see if I can turn it into a DAS thing that we can use in DAS Studio. So via, I'm thinking via Blender even as an optional thing to get rid of the extraneous material zones. That's the plan, the loose plan anyway. <laughs> the whole gang is here, absolutely right. Very good to see you too. First up, of course, music, something along the lines of, uh, I don't know, maybe this, I don't know what it is. Smoothie by Ocean Jams. That's nice, that shall keep us company. I did want to bring the Christmas music out, even though it is Christmas, so Merry Christmas, everyone. Today is the 24th of December, 2020, at the time I'm recording this. And it is, in fact, the final day on my Marvelous Designer 10 trial license. So I thought maybe that's a nice occasion. So they do say that I apparently have until the 25th, but I've fallen for that before. And it appears that it's kind of whatever, Korean time or whatnot. So when it says expires on the 25th, it has, does actually mean it's a day earlier. So it'll expire sometime today, unless I upgrade. So perhaps, you know, I'll pay a tribute by doing this one more time. <laughs> Go on there, Mr. Rod. What's the question? Perhaps we can help. Let's chip in. Let's have a good time. Let's have eggnog. Chris, do you have eggnog? I'm seriously thinking about eggnog ever since I saw you drink eggnog. Very interesting, isn't it? That's how it works. <laughs> and how are you all spending your Christmas? That is the other thing I'd like to know. How are you all spending your Christmas? So last time I've modeled this little puffy shirt, which wasn't even supposed to be a puffy shirt on the stylized character inside Marvelous Designer, Hannah. But I thought maybe today I'm gonna to try my hand at using a Genesis character for that. I don't actually know if I've got her in my library. I don't think I have. I think I, I might just, I might, no, I'm not even gonna look. I'm just gonna go and import something. I don't even know if I have her. Would she be under Avatar? And further under Avatar? Yeah, see, I don't actually have her. That may be in, might that be in Clo? Oh, I don't really remember. Might as well just start start fresh and just export the young lady from DAS Studio. I'm sure, was it here in DAS Test maybe? Duck G8F, that could be her. Let's try that. Let's do that. Uh, the most important thing, as we found out last time, was that we're going to go and open this use the avatar, try to automatically arrange, uh, add arrangement points here at that studio scale, but do not, under any circumstances, tick this box, because I think it means that it goes and moves the avatar off the absolute center position. And as a result, the garment that we're gonna make around it will then also shift. So let's not do that. Let's not align the avatar to the bottom, to the ground. There he is. There she is, rather. That's cool with a non-music here. There we go. Some atmospheric music in the background. I like it. <laughs> Add permitted term nog. Why would Twitch think that's that's a bad term, I wonder? One of those things. You still have eggnog, all right. <laughs> I'd love to join you with an eggnog. I think there's like small bottles. I think I might just see if I can get myself a small bottle there, Chris. 
maybe you know the, the macarthur's of the of this world and the walgreens and cvs's that are open 24 7. i might just grab myself one of those <laughs> It's I haven't had it for years, Rod, and I think the, the, the version of eggnog that I'm actually used to, the European one, kind of the Dutch one, they call this the Porten, I think, and that's the stuff that you usually fill into chocolates, and it's extremely sweet and gloopy, uh, whereas here in the US it's more like a milky, it's almost like a milkshake, but over in Europe you'd only have a small jar, you wouldn't have something that we'd have here, like, you know, pint glass or something. Shame it doesn't love me. It doesn't love you, Rot. I'll make my avatar a little bit darker here. Uh, select all faces. And then I'll go over here somewhere. Make the color a little bit darker. Just so that it doesn't get in the way too much and my garment kind of stands out better. So the puffy shirt. I don't even remember exactly how... I've made that now. It was, it just happened as a regular shirt. So I think that is how I start. Marvelous projects. Let me go. Oh yeah. Also over the Christmas holidays, maybe even tomorrow, if you're up for that, I'd like to reinstall windows like from scratch. That might be a nice idea to do on stream. J installs. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Maybe stuff with too much sugar rot that might do that. Uh, this is where it should be in here. And then we go Marvelous Projects. I'm going to make myself another one. I'm going to call it... Well, see, this is this is different. I'm, I'm setting out to make a puffy shirt. It's probably not going to work. Puffy Shirt 2. There. I've had some really nice comments on the puffy shirt. Namely... Puffy Shirt... I just call it Puffy Shirt 2. And then we have Puffy Shirt 2 version 1, version 2 and so forth. So somebody said that it wasn't fitting that well yet last time because the uh, because it was too tight around the chest. That might well be possible. I, I appreciate that. And of course the, the sleeves then, even though they started modeling okay, they kind of ran off the shoulders a bit while I was relaxing things. So maybe I can, maybe we can avoid that from happening. Also, make sure I don't forget what I've once learned. I will start with my trusty old polygon tool. Uh, that was not the polygon tool. I always use the wrong one here. It's H rather than G. H it is. Hey there, Madness Middles. Top of the afternoon and Merry Christmas. Very good to see you. Okay, part one. How many of you have made any kind of double dollars with art or art related activities? That's Rod's question number one. Alrighty, that is, that's an interesting question. That's a deep question. Over what period of time are we asking, Rod? I think I'll make it a V-shape from here down to kind of here. We can even, instead of making shorts, we can make a skirt. Skirt is much, much easier. Oh, and that's the other thing I wanted to have a look at. Actually, this is something just before I forget to do that. That's something just I just wanted to make a mental note of that. For me, it is pleats. How do we make pleats? Let's play with pleats. Maybe we can make a pleated skirt. That would be kind of kind of interesting. I've never tried that before. I'm going to do this up to about here, maybe even to here. That might be cool. Might actually go do this to about here due to chestiness and everything. And we'll go do this and switch that off here. There we go. That's nice. Over here. In the meantime, I'm going to go and switch this thing on, which gives the patterns random color over there. Not in the right, but in the left window, we now have random colors. It's kind of a good start. It doesn't look like much, but you know, it's it's all in the sleeves, isn't it? So I think with the Z tool, I'll go and unfold this so that I have two halves of this. That'll be interesting if, if it doesn't unfold with symmetric editing and sewing. Cool. Let's do that. Perfect. That's one part. And now we're going to use pretty much the same part for the back. And I think all we'll do is we'll put this point a little bit further to the top, but I'm not going to remove it yet. And I'm not going to add the curvature yet only because, you know, it's one of those things with a, I might just go grab that and right click and say, can I even can I do something exciting here? No, I'm just going to go copy and paste it. I think maybe it's going to go copy. And then I'm going to go and, whoops, and I'm going to go and paste it in here. 
like so is that does that do that yeah that does do that that's kind of cool so this here i will move that over here that looks terrible right now but don't you worry about it i'm gonna just go put that here and perhaps a little bit further over there and then i'm gonna go flip this thing around i think it's this horizontal yeah there we go that'll correct its rotation and it'll also correct it's it's normal so hey all is all is well so for brian 100 percent outgoings in the 3d department and zero income on the on the 3d department but it is true this is a difficult thing to quantify isn't it rod and brian by the way that um it's, it's it's difficult to quantify because uh, some things that you make with 3d don't make direct income so a direct thing would be you make this shirt you sell it for 10 bucks rando takes a 50 percent cut and you make a fiver for example that would be i think that would be a direct income or you write software somebody buys the software and then you get um, you get an income from that or you write a video game and then somebody buys and you get direct income from that but the indirect and residual income i suppose of that rod is something like brian's written a book the book sells this direct income from a book he makes an audio version that's kind of an expense but it's also an income now from the audiobook and now he uses a 3d tool to promote the audiobook not actually selling a 3d product as such but something that now has the cover of whatever he's creating with 3d on it and then somebody buys the book and that is kind of then direct book income but it's zero 3d income however it's indirect 3d income so like merchandising is a good um, example of that, I suppose. If somebody buys a Girls from TNA mug, that is indirect income. People haven't bought the story because it's not available, right? right? Um, but it's, uh, you know, somebody may have bought the mug. So technically, at that point, you're a mug salesman. I think PewDiePie made that statement once. Uh, he said there was something that he fell out with whoever and whatever. It's complicated with him. But he made the statement that at this point in time, I'm a hat salesman. And what he meant by that is that the whole, his whatever network who's in charge of put an advertising on his channel they were taking too big a cut and the only thing that made him money at that point when he made that statement was through the sale of baseball caps kind of interesting isn't it so um we do that we could try and sew this before we get on with the sleeves and then we'll see what happens oh this is a little bit too far over here let's go and put that over here i'm always afraid and if you want to follow along, by the way, if you have a copy of Claw Marvelous Designer, do feel free to, to follow along and share your progress during the session. That is nice. See if we can work this out together. I think with N, we're doing this. We're going from here. Are we going for here? Yeah, that's it. From here to there. That's a nice sewing line. And it's been symmetrically sewn too. That's also awesome. Let's go and put that into here. Will that, will that work? might be no that needs to be reversed now yeah, it's difficult to see that notch there reverse sewing all right well that it sounds bizarre but that could well be it have we also are these are these multiple colors still active yes they are there we go oh i see it's because i was on the edit sewing tool gotcha gotcha boom and yay fantastic it's tight fitting, so we need to make that a bit bigger. But, you know, and we'll put sharing in the background as well, into the back here. That was very nice. I liked that last time. So I'll do that. It's a good start. It's a very good start. It even has a bit of a loose fit here. That is very cool. See what we can mess around with darts and give this a little, uh, a little, um, what's it called here? A little, um, kind of a collar, but not as, not a collar, but like a, like a, like a seam here on the outside. I think that's mr elvis top of the evening merry christmas to you sir oh that's sold on render hub C chris congratulations that is very good to know <laughs> oh and poser pros yes i do remember that chris that's interesting 
Right. So this is interesting. Actually, we never talk about your how you make money, Chris. Um, I gathered you're a graphics professional, but I don't really know what exactly you make uh, you make money with. So I, I would imagine it's kind of graphic design jobs that sometimes use. 3D elements in your work because you're so uh, versed with with um, Illustrator and Photoshop that I, I kind of gathered that's probably your bread and butter kind of work. And I think I don't know how old this statement is, but I think I read it, I read this on your uh, Twitch channel that you do streaming because the intention is you want to get better with Blender. And um, I think you're already pretty much a crack at it, so it's kind of you know <laughs> very nice, very nice to see that. <laughs> You're a muck salesman, Rod. That's <laughs> uh, very cool. <laughs> that is nice. Good to know that you sold a couple. That is very good. Let's have a go at the sleeves. So they looked kind of interesting last time. Usually the sleeves are there's nothing special about them. I'll start with the uh, with a square here. In fact, I'm going to go and measure this first of all. This line is 20. So we have one 20 and this is also 20. So that's 40. And I'm thinking if I'm going to start make a, a little thing, say 40 by 40, just a square. This looks massive. And we can we can make that probably actually smaller. So from here to there, let's do that. Distance move, let's move it to, yeah, this is, this is more what I was looking for here. Then we go and take the C tool to turn this into kind of a bulge. And the people who really know what they're doing, they know that this bulge doesn't look uniform. It looks, uh, it looks slightly weird. It kind of bulges out at the top more and less at the bottom. And that's to give the, to give the shoulder fit. But I don't think we're going to worry about that because I don't know much about it. I'm just going to go and do this here. Add that ish to there. That could be my sleeve. That's cool. And I'm going to go use the Z tool once again and split that line here uniformly like so. All right. Looks scary. But I assure you, it'll be very, very painless. Uh, I'm going to do this and then we're going to do this somehow. And I only know how to do this because I've done it 10 times already. <laughs> we're going to do the puffiness in a moment, I'm thinking. Could even do, actually, we're going to do the puffiness. The puffiness happens because we need to make the whole thing larger, but we will do that in a moment. Let's go and fit, fit this regularly for now, and then we'll make it puffy. We'll make this even smaller as well, and then kind of bring it in. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna kind of work. Let's see if we can put this on from here to there. Is this the right sewing line? I love to do this in 3D, but 3D, the 3D sewing doesn't always give me. All right, that's that's what that needs to go on. And then it needs to go from here down to there. Oh, come on. That's what I mean. You, you do this and this kind of looks okay. No, I don't know. I see my measurement was wrong, actually. I've, I'm just now realizing that I've measured this here, where essentially bulging this out makes this a bit larger. So mm, one of those things. I think so too. I think Chris is pretty amazing with Blender. Absolutely. If I look at your hard surface modeling, that is just, you know, that is something else, my friend. But yeah, that is also, I totally agree with that, uh, Chris. The streaming thing and having a set schedule really makes you do it. And then as if by accident, you get better at it. There's, there's just one thing, and I, I wish you would do this, Chris. I wish you would do this, and I'm happy to help you with this. If you make me an editor on your channel, on your, on your Twitch channel, I can go and help you with this. Some of the stuff that you do is so nice that I wish we could keep it. And as Twitch is, you're an affiliate with Twitch, they just delete your streams after two months, and then there's no re-watching them anymore, unless you turn things into a highlight. I don't know if you do that, but... Um, it's it's really 
good for me if I get tips during a stream, I then sometimes watch them, or actually I always watch them back and turn them into highlights that I then either rerun or just punts off to my YouTube channel so that then eventually they disappear from my Twitch channel, but on YouTube they kept safe. And that is quite nice to, to have. Like uh, I'm just thinking of the stream you did uh, a couple of days ago where you were packaging up the product that um, that Steve made, that the dress product. There were so many valuable tips in there, um, like uh, maps for defaults, packaging up the product, and all these things that they're really, really just important tips that I, I wish when I want to look at that again in three months time, the stream's no longer there. So um, yes. That's that's just something, uh, even if you just top and tail it and turn it into a highlight and then there's an option if you connect your Twitch and your YouTube channel inside Twitch, you have an option that says export to YouTube and it just goes and puts the whole thing there. You don't even have to do anything. It just goes and uploads it automatically directly from Twitch to YouTube. It's awesome. It's just saved off there. Or if you make a highlight on Twitch, the highlight also stays forever. But the original broadcast, um, oh, okay, great. Do that. Great. And then I'll clip you the, the best bits the the best of chris i'll clip that out to you <laughs> that'd be really good because i think that would just that would help me that would help the community and um yeah that would just it just makes the world a better place let's see what happens if you simulate this does it make the world a better place well almost that's cool it's getting puffy it's getting puffy what we need for puffiness really is just more uh more material so what I did then last time was on one hand, I made the, the whole thing larger, made this thing shorter, and then you bulge this in that it gets some kind of an inside thing. That means that these things, this isn't then longer than that. Let me see if we can do it. First, larger by, I'll say, 20%, maybe 30%, 130%. Come on, 130 in total. That means this is large this looks terrible that's all good yes i think there's a way that you can give me um uh, access and um <laughs> very good chris excellent <laughs> have a good one chris and merry christmas i'll be here for another oh a good two hours probably so if ever you're up for another jar of eggnog go and do that All portfolios, um, elaborate rod. That sounds interesting, but currently I can't quite, I can't quite picture the word portfolios. I'm gonna make this small, like, like this here. I think, you know, is there any, is there, yeah, maybe like 20, 20, 20 centimeters shorter like this. Keep in mind, this is not quite simulated. So there's a lot of extra, uh, extra cloth now. Let's go simulate that. So we get that puffiness here in the in the upper part, but uh, that's also that's not quite large enough. So let's make that even larger. Maybe even what did we say? 130. Let's make it make it 120 now. So that makes it 50% larger than what it was a minute ago. And it's kind of getting that that puffy feeling with a lot of overhang here. All right. So I'll go take the curve tool now to make that bulge that in as well. Like so, I think this is what my puffy sleeves look like. And then that takes the, the top bit away here. Great, so that is, that's kind of nice, I'm thinking. Very cool. So um, to make this hold on to the arm, I'm gonna give this a little seam as well. There's also the issue, of course, that we haven't actually sewn the bottom together. So let's do that with N, I think from here to there. That sews the bottom together, so at least these parts are now connected. And if we want to make them a bit bigger, the sleeves, that's cool, we can do that. Yeah, I might actually do that. Just take this out a bit, maybe, uh, two, two centimeters bigger. There. There, nice. Almost looks like my puffy sleeve shirt. Fat puffy shirt sleeves, there we go. So I'm going to go and measure this thing now, which is almost 80. I guess, well, actually, I need to measure it on her arm that I make a little strip that goes around the outsideness of the, of the puffiness here, and that then kind of puts it around her arm. 
Let's see if we can make that happen. So measuring the avatar. That's another adventure. Where was that again? Measuring stuffs. I'm sure there's a funny icon here. And a shortcut even. Material sewing 2D path. 3D garment. Mm, fold arrangement. Sewing materials. Avatar perhaps. Measurement. Ha 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 ha. Edit attach basic tape measure. Surface tape measure. Surface. No, basic. Basic's good. Oh, I see. I see. Like portfolio. Like those types of portfolios. I get you, Rod. I get you, Rod. That's interesting. I used to have those things. Yes, for a vast amount of money. I think it's like 60, 70 pounds for a proper leather board, leather bound portfolio. I used to have like two or three of them. Put my best prints in there. Like, like uh, seriously large. Like, um, what, what is that large? It's not, not the eight by tens. It's more like the thirteen by, by nineteen or thirteen by, eleven by thirteen. That's the kind of, that's the kind of pro portfolio I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, I think Rod, I, the, the, with the selling thing, I think it's just because I have a feeling, and I think I told you this before, this isn't straight, is it? This isn't straight, I don't think. I think it's because the product of Girls from TNA, that's not actually... Um, it's, it's not a product at the moment. It is something that you do, but it's not here. Yeah, there we go. Now they're straight. But it's not a, not something people can buy. And I don't think it has a large enough audience for merch to be a viable option. Like if I compare this with... This is also not straight, is it? If I compare this with... Maybe I shouldn't worry about this. I'm not going to worry, actually. I'm not going to worry. I know both of them are not straight and I don't really know why. Uh, there's a reason why um, not everyone's monetized on YouTube and I thought at first it's a bit of a why isn't everyone monetized why don't we just give everyone the monetization button what's what's wrong with that does it matter if you have five subscribers or five thousand does it really matter and um, you know the reason why they're not doing it is that smaller people with less views the organizational effort that they have to make to give you five cents a year is higher than it would be worth it for them. So the reason why they only monetize you with a thousand subscribers and with 4,000, whatever it is, watch minutes, watch hours or whatnot, is because below that, channels with, with less views and with less subscribers, if they were monetized, and I know this because I had a channel that was monetized with smaller subscriber count, the whole channel makes less than a dollar a month. So while you would have the monetization option, the ag that would be required to give you that one dollar a month is higher for them than what they that's just it just there's there's no you know it's just not worth it for them really and it's also not worth it for you and um many people don't see it that way but it is absolutely true it if you have a, a low view count they don't really monetize you because there's just too much ag involved to get you a tiny amount of money but if you have a certain amount of uh, viewers and a certain amount of followers they're happy to monetize you much like on twitch i mean the advertising revenue on twitch is literally nothing even though everyone watches adverts on twitch you know all the channels that are the size of the my size advertising money is basically zero even though I am monetized, it really doesn't matter. I, I might as well not be monetized for that reason. I'm monetized because you guys can share bits and you guys can subscribe and that makes a bit of money, but advertising as such doesn't. And that's because really, to be really honest, no one watches my Twitch videos. There's not enough people in seven viewers is not enough to, uh, you know, to, to make any kind of meaningful advertising revenue. And I'm telling you this because it is, um, it's, it's similar with your product, with the girls from TNA. There's a few hundred people who know this on Renderosity who've been viewing your journey while you were doing it. But outside of that, it, it doesn't exist. And that's the issue. No one knows the girls of TNA exist. And there's outside of, T outside of Render, there's, there's literally no following. And as a result, no one buys merch. That is, you know, the, the couple of people who, who do that are uh, Rendo buddies, 
and they do this because they know you, they want to support you, they like what you do. But outside of that island of renderosity, it's it's impossible uh, to um, to sell merch right now because you don't have a large enough following. But you're working on that and eventually, as the girls from TNA actually become a product that people can relate to, that they can buy as PDF editions, that they have been hooked on reading daily on your ArtStation post, at that point it'll turn into something that could generate income. But unless that isn't there, it is no point even uh, um, putting all that effort into creating 50 products on merch because there's no one out there who is who's going to buy them. You know, that is that's the harsh truth, but it is it is the truth. It's just it's just a matter of the of the numbers, I think. Yes, exactly. It's just not a good return on your time. That's true. I think right now, if you are looking into building the girls from TNA out, I think what you need to do is you need to spread the word of the girls from TNA and give them away for free like you do. And I think it pays off with the with the ArtStation followers you're picking up. But I'm sure, you know, with, with um, work and dedication, you get there. This is another weird thing, and I don't know why that is. Steve will be able to attest to that. The more people who follow you the more people will follow you if you get my drift if you have 10 people it's really really difficult to get the 11th people to the 11th person to follow you but if you have 100 people it's really easy to get one extra follower in fact you probably get two or three extra followers if you have a thousand or ten thousand followers you get even more than that so I, I don't know why that is but i suppose numbers attract other numbers and if you're small i think uh, guy kawasaki called the the type of person uh, lonely boy 15. he has 15 followers and people discount him then he says no no it's actually not true because the, the thing is he only retweets the stuff that is meaningful to him and this is how if you have a thousand lonely boy 15s you actually have 15,000 people who will potentially hear your message it's weird <laughs> and it's expanding exactly right and i like that i like that avatar measurement come on let's do this measurement basic tape measure there we go i want to i want to know how big her arm is here with three points one two and three. Oh no i need to do this again so one point here one point kind of underneath and only then will marvelous designer understand it still doesn't understand, does it? 15, 16 centimeters, is that is that a measurement? That's not a measurement. What is that? That's terrible. Oh, don't do that. Okay, one point goes here. And the other point is kind of here. Oh, I see. And then the third point has to go directly over here. The third point is then kind of here. Ish. Oh, it is pernickety, isn't it? Let's call it 25. Oh, it's actually now 31. What? That's terrible. I don't get it. Right, let's, let's, let's do this again. Your arm, lady. How thick is your arm? Basic tape measure. Is that even the right thing I'm using? What's this? This is the edit measure. What else we got? Surface tape measure, avatar. Linear measure, height measure. Maybe I'll try surface measure. Maybe that's, that's cool. I've never tried that before. From here to there. Then we go over here and it's it just doesn't want to do it there that's it 20 what does that say 26 yeah 26 i like it that's cool 26 is good that's all we needed to know <laughs> do you know rod and i think that is very important to remember as well um you got it. You got to enjoy it. That's that. You know, do whatever it is that you enjoy. I think that is so so important. You got to do what you enjoy, and I think that is already validation in itself. I totally agree with that. What was that again? Twenty five, wasn't it? Twenty five. So we're gonna go uh, height twenty five. So that's the 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 thing here, and then we'll say um, two centimeters maybe width, like this. This looks really short, but that'll go around her arm, I'm thinking. I'm hoping. Where is this thing? Oh, there it is. 
No, there it is. There we go. That here. And I think I can now use this super magic uh, superimpose tool to get that on there. So it'll be very difficult for me to line this up. But if I go and put the sewing line in, like from here to there, that's what I that's where I intend for this to go. I'm now thinking can superimpose well it could be that it's uh, that is not quite um, I think it's at the wrong at the wrong end here so let me go and undo that and yeah, no sewing here I think it might just be it might just be the wrong way around here there that might be better from here to there with the end tool from here to there. No, see, it was it was actually correct the first time around this. No, it isn't. What's going on? This is that side that needs to be. Ah, it's just terrible. OK, fine. From here to kind of here. Will that work? That looks terrible. No, 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 no. I cannot condone this. I cannot condone this. this. Away, away. Why is that so difficult? I don't get it. I just like for this to go to here and no matter what it looks like I like for this to be superimposed over under I don't know let's see let's see do we not right click this and say superimpose over yes that is in fact how we do that all right does this does this work if I do that now, yes, look at that, it works. Oh my God, the puffy sleeves are back. That is nice. <laughs> yeah, right, I think we all want more money. I think that is that would be nice, wouldn't it? That would be really nice. Let me see if I can go and put this onto here. And that should now close up this gap. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Good stuff. And I think last time also we put some elastic into here, into these sleeves. I might not do that this time. I'm now thinking they're actually not quite big enough. I'd like to make them a bit bigger. Not so much bigger, but I might just go and uh, take this out. And now I can actually go and just make that a bit, bit of a larger sleeve here like so. See if it works. And then Christina's other trick was last time, in order to make this really look puffy, we can go and strengthen this and see if that works. The strengthen, ah, oh yeah, there we go. Strengthened it. Strengthen, and there's another one called solidify. I think that is even stronger. So solidify means it's like literally like, uh, like rubber or like plastic. If you have a raincoat or something, that would be solidified that way. I'm thinking. Cool, cool. But we don't need it. We can just go and un, un, unsolidify and unstrengthen now. <laughs> and then it'll just go and collapse again, I think, like so. Ah, oh, what a shame. Well, you know, more particle distance. We're going to be good. I'll add that sleeve to the other side. And then I might make the rest of the shirt a little bit, I don't know, either baggier or something else. We'll have a look at the stretch map. Let me just go and um, and copy these things here. A symmetric pattern with sewing. Oh, some patterns cannot be symmetrized. Symmetrization can only be applied to mirrored patterns. Mm -hmm. Fine then. Don't symmetrize. I'm all right with that. Put it in here then. Oh, yes, yes. Hang on a minute. That's also not exactly what I wanted. Maybe I'll go put this guy over here so that we have enough room for the sleeves. Is there something like mirror paste? Was that something? Is that, is that something I should be using? I can't tell. It's easy to... Mirror paste, there we go. Mirror paste. It's easy to redo. I suppose we don't have the... Okay, there we go. Let 
let's see so from here we go to i think here is that right nope that's totally not right let's see if we can do it in 3d then from here to here okay that makes sense and then we go from here whoops I think Clo has a new feature that is called auto sewing. I don't think I've quite seen it in action. Okay, so that's how that works from here to there. Come on, yeah, there we go, perfect. And then before we go and simulate that, I'm gonna go put this down somehow. That and that actually. No, dude. Look, this and that. <laughs> Down, there we go. Like so, and simulate. Yes, there we go. Puffy shirt. And that doesn't look the same as the other one, but that's only because we need to go and strengthen it and then unstrengthen it. And then we'll just go and, you know, fiddle with it a little bit later. There we go. Yeah, fiddling with it. Very important. <laughs> cool yeah this time i don't want this i don't want the sleeves to go to fall off the shoulders quite so much i'm also going to pour myself another cup of coffee while i deliberate deliberate so the next thing on the agenda i think is to check the check the tightness of the shirt at the front i think the back's kind of all right i want to add some shirring to the back and then the the bottom part here i think the length is is okay that just needs to be that so that the chest kind of lifts the the top part up so i'm going to go and add the add a little curve to the bottom here but is it is it wide enough it looks wide but i think maybe it could be a little bit wider yeah let's go make that a bit wider if i go move this over here and then this puppy here Maybe uh, twenty percent. Let's let's say one hundred twenty. Let's see what that what that does. And that could be too much, but <laughs> we'll find out. Less tight. It's now also less tight in the back. So this we go and uh, we we take that up with with sharing. It's almost like a little bit too baggy for me now on the on the front. But it looks okay, so I don't really, I don't really mind. I think that's better. I think that's better. Let's make it, let's give it something that fits uh, slightly tighter at the bottom. So a little bit like what we did here, just not as exaggerated. So for that, we need to go and uh, measure this part here. This part, how can we, can I go and hide that somehow? Hide three patterns, oh perfect, that's that's nice. In fact, not just that, I think, uh, do you know what? We only made the front bigger, not the back. I've just realized that. Only the front has been expanded, but not the back. That actually does the fit something good, except for yeah, let me go and do that at the, at the back as well. I totally forgot about that. So we said 20%, right? Yeah, let me do that at the back as well. So 100 and... I'll, I'll do 120 as well. We'll see what happens. So much baggier now. And that that would that's that's okay because we're going to take that up with, uh, with, with some elastic that, that shrivels here. Okay, good. So hide everything high 3d patterns and let's measure kind of this bit here so not not the waist but slightly below that let's see if i can remember how to do that is it this here this one here basic circumference i think that would be that'd be enough from here oh that was too high wasn't it so kind of here from here to here Ah oh, yes, that works much better. It's about 75, 74, 73, yeah, that's 73, 74. Let's, let's call it 74. 
and five centimeters high. So 74 and five centimeters high. Let's see what that looks like. And that's the whole circumference, really? Really? I don't think so. No, 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 I don't think so. 75. Really? I don't think so, is it? I can't believe that. That fits around her waist, seriously? I'd need to see that. I'm not sure if that works. Do you think that's going to work? I have a feeling it's not going to work. I think... No, well, maybe it does, actually. Maybe it does. <laughs> what do I know? No, I think it might work. I think also five centimeters height might be a bit, uh, might be a bit much. I think to make that, to put this in line, I might actually split this into, um, into two. Yeah, I might, I might actually do that, just halve it. So if I, if I cut it uh, in the middle, then uh, I can put one piece at the back, one piece at the front. Let me do that actually, let me do that. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just go make this uh, smaller. So we had it a 74, so that, that's uh, 30, 37. So move that to 37, that's half of it. And then we'll just go and uh, duplicate that. Same as before, just go and move it towards her back. Just don't forget to either flip the normals or just uh, flip it horizontally. And then we can go and put some sewing lines on here, like from here to here. And then from here to there. And then all we need to do now is make sure that that gets put on the rest of the garment. Let's bring that back. Is there something like show 3D patterns? Yes, indeed. That's cool. That now, I suppose, needs to go further down a little bit. We can try superimposing again. That might be, that might be cool. So from here to can, oh, I see we need to have the multi-pattern tool now. Or we need to split this line up here. I think I think the M tool is probably going to be the correct choice. Is it free sewing? No, it's not actually free sewing. It's M to N segment sewing. So I have this. Enter. And I want to put that to here and there. So that sews more than that sews one piece to multiple. But I always have crossed sewing lines with that, so it's difficult to see in the purple here. Yes, yeah, so this is correct, and this one is not. So this needs to be um, turned. This line here. reverse oh no was the wrong one that one was actually correct and this one needed to be reversed it's very no it's also not correct it's all screwed up man <laughs> terrible okay so um that uh, we should we should undo everything let's let's do the sewing again <laughs> this time with the free sewing tool i think that's much better Okay, free sewing. That's this one, MN free sewing. So that lets you go. From here to here. Enter. And then we go and try to do this 
here, so from here, and then all the way back up. And then we go from here to there. Enter. Yes, that is correct now. And that is... I know what's going on here. It seems to be... Tr it seems to try something with the back here. But I don't really know what, what it is trying to do. Why are you doing this? <laughs> Maybe there's some kind of symmetry. Is that something like a, a symmetry thing? Removed linked editing. Yes. Crazy, man. Linked editing. So sometimes it's actually a curse. There. Let's take that away. And move that over here because that's more for that. And then we put that over here. That's a little bit more obvious what's, what's going on where. Alrighty, so MN free sewing. From here to there. Exactly. To. Okay, perfect. Okay. From here to there. Ah. Goody. Thinking about it. Oh, enter, of course. And. Yes, 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 no. Why not? Hmm. From here to there. And then from here all the way to there. Yes, now we have it. Now we have it. Alrighty, let's see if that works. That finishes that off nicely down here. And now we can move that up and it, yeah, look at that. It holds onto the body a little bit. That's exactly what I was looking for. Good stuff. And I think at first I thought maybe five centimeters is a bit much, but I think five centimeters is actually quite, uh, quite a nice, quite a nice length. Alrighty. Well, time to save the project, I'm thinking, before we have a look at the back and then these things here and then finish this off with little seams as well. And then, you know, that's a, that's a good shirt. Let's see if we can make a good skirt to go with it, perhaps a pleated skirt. I've never done that before. That could be interesting. Alrighty, so I don't think I've, I've saved anything meaningful, so I'm just going to go save over that. Well, let's look at it with pretty rendering. Particle distance needs to be increased, of course. And we're going to make the back uh, higher. So that still has the symmetry on there. I'm going to remove that in a moment and make the back higher to about here. And then the front, the V will stay, but there's going to be a little seam here and there that's going to have a kind of a fascinating cut at the at the bottom here. Maybe with overlapping lines. I haven't quite decided yet. Let's see what happens. Mr. Backdoor, how are you doing? Merry Christmas. <laughs> that is so cool. We're right here. It's still uh, Christmas Eve and in uh, Germany and in the UK, it's also just about Christmas Eve still. But where you are, it's already Christmas Day, so have a Merry Christmas. I was chatting to Neville this morning, aka Uncle Devil. If you're here on Twitch, Uncle Devil, very cool. Uh, he's from New Zealand, I believe. And uh, yeah, I said, uh, I said Merry Christmas already. It's very good. <laughs> good to see you. And I got a marvelous Christmas present this morning. This was this was very nice and unexpected. Pete sent me ten dollar super chat donation. Woo! That's great. That's already my Christmas present. Super nice. Christmas has come early. Steve, I'm redesigning my puffy shirt with a few amendments uh, and see if I can if I can uh, practice this a little bit more. Uh, I've just finished the bit at the bottom here. I've put the puffy sleeves on and now I'm going to have a go at the back and the fit a little bit. It might just be a little bit too big now, but we'll see. You know, I can I can always make that a little bit smaller. I think it's the the patterns here a bit too big for her, so I might reduce that by 10 percent. But uh, before I do that, I'm going to go and tidy this up and take the symmetry away. This is the back. Uh, 
this is that point I will go and put up to about here. See what that looks like. Yeah, and as soon as I remove the point, I will lose the symmetry, but I think I'm okay with that. I think I'm going to go and turn this guy into a pert curve point. There we go. Now it's it's a little bit like that, you know, and no, no more symmetry. This will be shirred up, so they'll all uh, move together a bit. And this I will not turn into a curve point. I'm just going to leave that uh, straight. Oh, that's, that's all I wanted to do here. Cool. Let's see if we can give these things some uh, some some parts to finish it off. So this is 27.54. So I'm gonna I'll say 27, and maybe two centimeters as well. Uh, 27 width times two. That might be actually too much. Maybe one centimeter is enough as a as a color thing i might I'll, I'll see what happens i'll see what happens so i'll just be bald with the editing tool this versus that and i don't mind where it is it is sewn that's what we want and this now oops come on this now <laughs> will be superimposed over point Where are you, buddy? Where are you, buddy? There we go. It's superimposed. Do we do we mind where it is? We, we might not mind. <laughs> Let's see. Does it does it work? No, it doesn't. Where is it? It's flipped over. But I think we might not might not care so much because we haven't sewn the other part on it yet. Yeah, this might be might be too long. I might make that a bit uh, shorter. And I'll have to make sure that these points here, they they're going to have to go and angle in to make them to make them fit properly. <laughs> Let's see if I can make that happen. So now the next thing is going to be this strip and then that strip here. And then that finessed cut at the bottom. So we'll do that uh, that last. So this here. Is there indeed. And I might. Shall I remove the symmetry from this as well now? I think I might. Remove linked editing. Linked editing. There we go. Now this is just one. Uh, one piece and I like to do this separately so it's also 27 that's cool so 27 again 27 times 2 and that goes from here to there and I suppose we're gonna have a different with the same thing actually Smart arrangement. I wonder what that is. Well, let's not mess with it. Let's not mess with this. Uh, over. Doing perfect. That's that. So then we're going to go and copy this. Move it kind of here and technically, I suppose it's also we'll turn that around like so. There we go. And then this here. Goes here. And then we go superimpose over. And that's what it looks like. Bit of fitting issues. There we go. What have you been doing for Christmas so far? Steve, I mean, yeah, I know you just got up, but what's the plan for Christmas? Let's 
Yeah, these things are um, currently the wrong direction here. I could, I suppose, even make this stand up some. That is an interesting idea. I hadn't thought of that. We can do something nice with this. Not sure what yet. I'm thinking maybe I will leave these uh, overlapping. I was going to trim them off like a... I don't know what you call this in English, but I could... Uh, I could just go and sew this on the top of that. That might be nice if I, if I change this point and then the other point underneath it as well so that they finish off nicely and I can literally sew that onto here. That is a possibility of the bait. <laughs> Same thing here. So these things, they should be sewn together. This line and that. And then we're going to go and take care of the little angle here, I'm thinking. See if we find where that is. This goes on here is it done I can't tell <laughs> this looks like it's done is it really done only simulation will tell yes it is done okay nice let's try the same thing over here this is exciting isn't it <laughs> Let's go put this on, kind of on here, like so, and there we go, sewn. You're, yeah, on your own, yeah, you said, yeah, absolutely. I'm glad you're spending it with me, actually, that's nice, or with all of us in the stream, that is much nicer. Yeah, I can imagine. It's it's one of those things. I remember my mom had that as well. Uh, my When my grandmother was still alive, she was kind of the driving force behind us all coming together for Christmas. So all families from all parts of Germany would come together at least for one day. And I had this on, on two sides of the family. That was when I was like, you know, little Jay. Um, so the first, I think Christmas Eve, we would spend at home together. And then Christmas Day, we'd spend at my mother's mother and then the second Christmas day like Boxing Day we'd spent at my dad's mother and that was always large family get-together it's always almost too much for me because there's just so much social contact that it's just you know I'm not entirely sure if that was uh, if that was my thing and uh, it was just so much and then there's not that much throughout the year it was kind of difficult so I'm uh, I'm more like you I'm kind of I'm kind of happy now that things have been quietened down and I'm also happy that we can come together on days like this because it's um, uh, you know it's it's nice to to hang out we are family now which is awesome awesome to think about it <laughs> and they'll be there on Sunday yeah no no more in no the worries so they currently your son spent Christmas with their families I suppose with their own families having created a family of their own I suppose or a surrounding network around themselves and then on Sunday they're both going to be with you Steve sounds cool how about everyone else Brian what are you doing this Christmas and Rod, what are you doing Chris is just on the egg knock, so he's he was here earlier, but I think he's he's uh, doing Christmas dinner now, which is also very nice. We just had Christmas dinner, well, kind of a pre-Christmas dinner, that was uh, steak and ale pie with roast carrots. Very nice. I'm just trying to figure out where these points are. So this is here. That's one bad boy over here, and then there's another one here. And both of these, I'm gonna go and move in a little bit. Oh yeah, let's, let's stick with the back first. So if that's you, I have a feeling that's you then here. Yep, yeah, perfect. Alrighty, so there's, this, there's a funky tool that lets me take both these edges on the outsides, nudge them in, in equal amounts in and I believe it is by 
doing that. No, I think it's doing this. No, there's another another tool here, which is the transform point segment tool. That's the one that gives me that. And then if I go and double click this thing, I think I can now go do that. No, 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 no. That's not it. That's not it. Don't do it. Don't, don't, no, no, no. Okay, there we go. You have to double click this point here. Uh, no, that's not it either. It's totally not what I want. It's these two points. Isn't there a way to to do that? Oh yeah, I know. You just literally select those two points, not the whole pattern. There's those here. Then you select that thing in the middle. I think that's kind of important. And then you just go and move these together. Yes, oh my. That is just so cool. And maybe I'll make it, what is it, 80%? Is 80 maybe a bit much? I think maybe 90. Let me try 90. Well, let's try 85. I think that was a good good middle ground. That looks almost like a 45 degree angle. Let's try that. So that's cool. Just me and the cat. Just you and the cat. Awesome. And Stardew Valley, oh, Brian, uh, this is um, on Saturday. That is totally what I'm going to do as well. Saturday uh, on YouTube, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Join me for that. It'll be a very exciting look at version 1.5. It's going to be really, really cool. Yeah, so that's that point here. I'm going to do the same with that, but not with the lower point. Actually, maybe I will do with the lower point as well. What is this point then? Is this... This is that point. Okay, cool. Alrighty, so grab both of these points, just these points. Then double click the thing in the middle. Then just shrink them in on one another and say height 85. Oh, that is nice actually. That, that already looks pretty handsome down here. 85, that is, that is good. Simulate. Doesn't look too shabby. Okay, have a look at this area here. Same thing here, so it's that and that point. Do you go and see your family um, in a kind of on another day, Brian, or do you not have contact with them on Christmas? Move on up. 85. All right. That might be too much, but we'll we'll see what it's like. We'll play with it. Aha. Not so bad. Now, to make this fit, I can always make this this line up here a bit shorter, but I'll see how it looks when I uh, when I increase the particle distance. We'll see what it looks like. I might I might just make the the whole piece shorter here. That might be an idea. Miss Christina, Merry Christmas. Very good to see you. <laughs> very nice, very nice. So nice that we can come together on Christmas Eve. That is cool. I love it. I'm having another crack at my puffy shirt here with a few amendments and embellishments and additions. I'm debating whether to do uh, what to do with this point here. So these are just two things that are flapping on top of one another. I could sew this onto that bit. That might actually be nice and tidy. I might try that. Don't know how Marvelous Designer is going to feel about it. I might just go save it before I do anything. I could try that. No, oh, it's worth an adventure. Let's try it. It's one of those things again, how Will Marvel's designer be kind enough to tell me that next point here? We'll find out. Let's have a look. Maybe with the free sewing tool. Free sewing tool from kind of here. Is that it? To over here. Absolutely. To, well, that's difficult now. Where is that point? I have a feeling it's about this this here, yes, that's the point. Let's see if that works. From here to... Yeah, that's it. 
Marvel Susanna worked out the point. Oh, you beautiful machine. <laughs> and, hiya, it's sewn on. It looks neat and tidy. That is cool. I love it. Super proud of this already. <laughs> well, alrighty. Christina, what's your Christmas like? What's happening in Germany right now? Are you with the kids? Are the kids with you? Are you all together? Are you maybe not working for a change? <laughs> I'm debating whether to make this whole thing a little bit shorter. Not much, but maybe a couple of centimeters. I think I might do that. That'll also then help with the back a bit. It'll just pull this up a bit. Maybe I'll make this two centimeters um, shorter. If I can work out which piece that is. This, this here piece is... Where is that? Oh, there. That here piece. Good stuff. Um... Um, let's try 90. Let's try 90%. See what that does. Did something. I might, uh, I might even try another 10% just out of sheer curiosity. See what happens. So maybe 90 again. I like it. That has a much better fit on the back here. I like that much better. It is, isn't it? Hey, hey. loving that. Oh, there's also what's happening here. There's, there's something not quite sewn on here. Or is that just... Uh... No, that's just false. That's just false. Okay, no, it's just false. That's cool. Well, quickly save it before anything goes wrong. <laughs> Oh, you've been with the kids for the whole day. And Chris is back with beer. That's groovy. Hey, Chris, welcome. Welcome back. It's actually the pretty viewport here. That's, you know, unpretty, pretty, unpretty, pretty. Very pretty. Baking cookies with three kids. That is just, oh, what a Christmas. <laughs> Do you know, that is one thing I did always enjoy about Christmas, like preparations, you know? Preparations, be it cooking or be it like doing the tree and getting things ready. That was always, that's my favorite part. Once all that is done, you sit there, you go, now what? Now we watch Jay, of course, but you know, back in the day, we didn't do that, so. <laughs> Julian set up the Christmas tree, really? That is, wow, I'm, I'm impressed that he is already this fit. That is, that's great to hear. Because, you know, that is that is quite a thing if you're just out of hospital. So, well, well done. Great to hear that. Oh, so you're just in time. That is so nice. Oh, I see. See, Eric did it. But great. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> that makes more sense, Christina. So, I'm kind of happy so far with this. Oh, yeah, the sharing. No, the sharing. I was going to do the sharing. It's sharing in the back here. Let's add some lines here. Last time I just made the the bit at the bottom here. Sometimes I have to read messages twice, Christina, for them to make more sense. We can do that from here, maybe up to this point here. Maybe I'll do that. Let's see. Has this still got uh, Thea? Yeah, I can remove this point here. Did you point, right? Is that cool? As things completely explode. and no, everything's cool. Yep, that is fine still. That's good. That's good. All right. So from here, let's go and offset as internal line. And I'm thinking maybe every two centimeters. That might be too much. Yeah, that might be too much. Maybe we'll go every five centimeters. And that's a bit too many then. <laughs> so maybe I just like this. That might be cool. Just to just to gather this in a more controlled fashion here. I'm thinking, we'll have a look, see what it looks like. Internal lines, check. With them internal lines selected. Where's the elastic option? Here we go. And the options for that, I don't quite remember 
Uh, I might make it 40 and we'll just see what it what it looks like when it's gathering. Okay, that might be a bit strong. It also still has particle distance 20, so... You know, actually, having said that, it's a bit strong. Maybe it's exactly the effect I'm after. I can't tell. Oh, the other thing I was going to do, um, I think make the whole make the whole fit a little a little uh, slimmer. So this is um, uh, it's it's better for the for the chest fit here, but I think maybe it's a bit too much. I can't tell yet. Maybe it's okay. I can't I can't tell. So last time it was um, when I tried this the first time. I think it was a bit too too tight around her chest. I don't want that to happen again. I do like all these effects here, especially with the larger particle distance. It's going to be really nice. What do you think? Too much, or are we okay with this? Can't quite tell. I love those emotes, Chris. That is really nice. That is a very, very nice little thing that you've done there. Very good. I love it. <laughs> oh, Julian has to endure that that screwed-on metal thing now. Ouch, Roo. You're very welcome, Steve. No problem. Yes, it is one of those things that tripped me up as well. Especially because we have that dart tool and it's just so obvious, well, isn't that how I use a dart, but not on the outside. So I'm glad it was helpful. Time to feed the hungry horde. All right, Jeremy, thank you so much for dropping by. Merry Christmas. I'll be back tomorrow with more, you know, merriness. <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> Mr. Dream Lab, welcome. Twice in a day. I feel honored. Glad you could make it. I think we have collectively inspired DreamLab to pick up Marvelous Designer again. <laughs> we met again this morning in a premiere on YouTube and it was it's actually really nice to to rewatch these things a week or two after the they went out on on Twitch and it's it's kind of cool for me to rewatch these things because I do remember how I did things, how I now do things differently and better and you know, this the watching that this morning is a, just a direct result of of doing this now. I think I might just leave it. I think I'm, I'm good with this. I think I'm good with this, including the sharing, the gathering. I might just increase the particle distance before we move on with our second item of clothing. Particle distance. I'll make that 10. Takes a little bit of time. And then we'll go and simulate that again. Let things settle in a bit and waft things around a bit. Yeah, 20 is is quite a strain here. And oh yes, uh, I've done this before. I've done this earlier, but I might just do this again. That with this pattern here, we go and strengthen that. So that it puffs it up. And this one as well, strengthen. And then we go and unstrengthen this again. There's also, Christina, there's also um, Solidify that is almost like strengthening, but I don't, I can't quite figure out the difference. We were talking about this this morning. Um, Brian was suggesting maybe he can do Origami in Marvelous Designer. And yeah, why not? I mean, that sounds good. Maybe um, the Solidify, sorry, the Strengthen option is then a better option. Let me try that. So Strengthen is, it's almost like I'd like to leave it like that. Strengthen. Strengthen on the right, solidify on the left. Is it really solidified? Yes, it is. Hang on a minute. What's what? This one here, that is, that is now strengthened, whereas this is now solidified. Well, solidified is actually holding its shape a little bit better. Interesting. Interesting to see that. The, the difference there. 
<laughs> yeah, um, Dreamlab, it's it's a little bit, if you want to use it in conjunction with Das Studio, there's this thing about you have to kind of um, rethink how things work in Das Studio a little bit. So uh, an item that used to be fitted clothing with DeForce, if you were to put this from Das Studio into Marvelous Designer and back, it'll be more like uh, like a thing that sits in the correct position but it's not uh, fitted then anymore if you know what i mean sometimes you you have to unfit it and then uh, export the avatar export the clothing fit it and then bring the clothing back as a morph but leave it then as an unfitted loose thing in the scene if you know what i mean and then you just dial up that morph and it'll fit perfectly in that studio then strengthen is like temporary starching solidifies to keep folds and wrinkles ah. right right so this is kind of the starching approach this starching is what you do on a collar not so much on this shirt but on a kind of on a formal shirt i suppose you starch that you starch the yoke and you starch this and you starch the the um the lapel of a jacket and then those things are kind of starched uh, whereas this here so that's um that's this starching and then this here solidifying that oh i see that keeps the wrinkles so yes the wrinkles are there and they no longer move whereas this still moves as if it was it kind of still has wrinkles <laughs> they're just like a very viscous thing whereas these wrinkles here they don't they don't really move anymore the whole thing moves as one almost like one connected pre-wrinkled thing interesting because if i go and unsolidify that over here then i can see that the whole cloth now moves and and does its wrinkling thing so it's almost then kind of what i need then isn't it when i'm happy with the folds that i want i quickly go and say uh solidify it's almost like stopping the simulation on one part on one pattern piece unstrengthen Yes, that's what it's also good for. If you have something like a like a piece of clothing and it either needs to be on a hanger or it needs to be just chucked on the ground or folded over a chair or something. Yes, absolutely. That's what that's good for. I think Marvelous Designer even has hangers that you can bring in as avatars. All right, I see, I see. Thank you, Christina. Always good to have these tips. Yeah, so it's almost what I'm tempted to do then, solidify the um, the the puffy um, sleeves here once they have the puffiness that I that I like. Because last time, I think, due to so much um, fiddling, they eventually ran off the shoulders a little bit too much for me. Like, this is, this is nice. I like to kind of keep this, so let's go solidify that. Let's see if we can put the other one almost in the same position like that kind of oh it's already solidified oh good <laughs> joy then <laughs> let's unsolidify that again I suppose half the half the job is literally being patiently pulling things back and forth and trying to trying to figure something out that that you'd like the look of you can literally spend so much time doing that so i'm i'm not going to do that much i'm going to go get on with uh, with pleats solidify try the solidification thing here it's almost like this this looks really nice but this i'd, I'd love for that to just look similar Oh, control H. That's a good. That's a good one to remember. Uh, 
Oh yeah, there's a lot of that at the back going on here. I might just take a little bit of the puffiness out, make the make the puffy sleeves a little less puffy. <laughs> Maybe they're a little bit too puffy, I don't know yet. It's a good start anyway, from scratch. 